the Long Island serial killer, the Gilgo Beach killer. The whole time uh, I lived in New York, there were rumors of who the Long Island serial killer would be, and I honestly couldn't think of anyone more apt for the job than John Danaher. I even spoke to a homicide detective uh, that trained at Henzo Gracie's about this. I was like, yo, bro, this guy might be in fact, the Long Island serial killer. And he's like, he goes, I've already looked into it. John Danaher does not have a car or a driver's license. You, you ever plug into that? You think there's echoes of something going on there? Or like you, you mentioned you have flaws and demons. Is it deep in there somewhere? So he's like, I don't know how John would get the bodies all the way out to Long Island. That was one of the things. But he did look at me very seriously and say, he goes, man, in the whole time John Danaher has been in New York, I've always been looking to see if I can find a rash guard at the scene of a crime. He just tried to break your freaking arm. Now come back and break his fucking leg. Okay, that's, that's how it works. Humans are more or less helpless and useless. Almost every bone in his body fractured or crushed. Uh. There's always going to be a need for humans to be able to express themselves through violent methods and to use physical force to get to their, yeah, their goals and objectives. Like. He enjoyed breaking bones. He enjoyed the sound of breaking bones. Humans are fascinated by violence. For a significant part of our evolutionary history, violence was one of the most important elements in human existence. I love him. I don't care who he is, how good he is, or how famous he is. He's gonna leave his fucking legs behind.